today we are going to talk about fibroid in pregnancy maybe many of you might have heard about the term fibroid fibroid is nothing but a muscle muscular tumor of the uterus and many times women having these fibroids in the uterus become pregnant and many a times these fibroids are first diagnosis during the first scan that the patient has and obviously the question that comes in mind is whether this fibroid is causing any problem in pregnancy whether it can cause any problem and whether my baby will be harmed so the first first and foremost we should know that fibroid is a very common condition it occurs in about 10% of patients and many a times we see patients who don't even know that there was a fibroid becoming pregnant they are called asymptomatic fibroids and in majority of cases these patients go through a completely uneventful pregnancy and there is no problem with the mother or the baby whatsoever only in a very rare percentage of cases these fibroids can cause problems and the problem which occurs most commonly is pain as the pregnancy advances because of the hormonal effect of the pregnancy on the fibroid the fibroid size also increases and this increase in the size of the fibroid can sometimes cause pain and this is called red degeneration and in majority of cases they subside with a little bit of painkillers and antibiotics and rest the other thing that can happen with fibroid is mild bleeding and this bleeding usually also subsides with a little bit of medications and rest very rarely fibroids can cause miscarriage and if it is a cause of miscarriage then it has to be managed accordingly and we have to make sure that in the next pregnancy this fibroid is removed and then the patient becomes pregnant because the fibroid can sometimes distort the cavity of the uterus the fetus may not align itself in the proper position and many a times the baby can be present as breech which means the body of the baby is down and the head is up it should be the other way around the head down and the body up and if these conditions are there like breech presentation then in majority of cases or in almost all cases then you need a cesarean delivery and therefore with fibroid in pregnancy the incidence of cesarean section increases and with this cesarean section it is usually advisable to keep some blood ready in hand because sometimes patients can bleed slightly but in majority of cases as i said before there is no problem and usually an uneventful delivery happens sometimes it is possible to remove fibroid during cesarean section because this is a question which is very commonly asked doctor can my fibroid be removed during cesarean delivery the answer is yes and no and it is best left up to the gynecologist who is looking after you to decide whether this particular fibroid can be removed or not all fibroids cannot be removed during cesarean section so the cesarean myomectomy the operation as it is called it is possible but individualization is very required hence what we need to know that in majority of cases women become pregnant without even knowing that there is fibroid if fibroid is found incidentally then we should take it for granted that in majority of cases it is an uneventful pregnancy in only rare percentage of cases these complications which i mentioned happen and usually it is it can be surpassed and there is a constant communication that has to be held between the gynecologist and the patient if for example a woman comes to know that she already has a fibroid and she is planning to become pregnant it is always better to go to a gynecologist and decide beforehand whether she should go straight away for a pregnancy with the fibroid or has to remove the fibroid which is called myomectomy which can be removed by laparoscope and then plan for pregnancy